Hi, I'm Lindsay. If you've seen any of the other of my videos, you'll know that I have been suffering from mental health problems for quite some time. If you haven't watched any of my videos, basically I've been suffering from anorexia nervosa with other associated health problems such as anxiety, depression and obsessive traits for around five years now. Recently, um, all of my other problems, the depression, the anorexia even, they've all been controlled. They're still there but they're very controlled and they're safe. But the anxiety has peaked quite considerably, quite considerably recently and um, has resulted in me having to suspend my university studies for one year. Also, I feel like I get these huge anxiety attacks, really intense um, moments where I'm nauseous and tremory and short breath and palpitations and all these horrible things and it just gets so worked up in my obsessions and my and my anxieties and my worries that I can't focus on anything else. Today I want to talk to you about the one thing that has really helped me overcome this. Not permanently but in in these moments I can overcome it and I can feel normal after doing this. It's called mindfulness and basically um, when you're worried what you need to do is think of all the different things that you're worried about taking up room in your head and think of them as balloons. So there's probably several balloons of anxiety related problems in your head for instance, for me, recently there's been my driving test, so that's been one balloon. And then there's been restarting my university studies, that's been another balloon. And then I've got, just recently, I've just got a cat and that's a lot of responsibility, so that's another balloon. So these are all things taking up room in my head and because I suffer from anxiety, I struggle to focus on other things. In order for me to get on with my day and to be able to think about more important things about things that matter then I need to free up room in my head. So what you do is you just you have to find a place and just sit down. You need to be very visual with this. It works best in visual people. Um, so you have to kind of visualize yourself picking up the balloon, reading the balloon. So for instance I'd pick up my driving test balloon and I'd read it, I'd say, okay, I'm worried about my driving test. And then I'd just let it go into the air and watch it go away. For as long as you want, just watch it and just try and imagine that it was in your head and then now it's in the air, there's a, a, a space of like one balloon free in your head, basically. The key thing is not to overthink it. Automatically, you might be like picking it up and be like, okay, I'm worried about my driving test, and then you'd want to combat it normally. That's what automatically you'd want to do. But the thing is, you can do that yourself so easily, and it's almost subconscious and automatic to combat things. Everyone has it within them to be able to challenge thoughts. Literally just accept that you're worrying about it. Just look at it really superficially. Just look at the balloon. Say, okay, I'm worrying about this. Okay, let it go. And then you do that with each subsequent one. So I do, okay, I'm worried about restarting uni. Okay, and let it go into the air. And then eventually, once you've got all these many <laughs> out of your head, um, you'll feel like your mind is just free. There's just so much more room that you can think, that you can actually engage more with life and not be enclosed in this little bubble of anxiety because when you do suffer from anxiety it feels like you're in a bubble it feels like you can't focus on anything else because all that matters is your anxiety in this bubble and this mindfulness really really helps to just help you just let go of these anxieties and to be able to you know engage to everything else, to break out of this bubble. It is hard not to challenge the thoughts and just accept them and move on, but once you've mastered it, it's amazing. <laughs> Another thing to remember is that stress peaks and then it just comes down naturally by itself. So it doesn't 
stay high constantly. A lot of people think that, you know, when you're stressed, you have to do something to bring it down again. But actually stress naturally wants to come down by itself. Think of it as a bully. If it's just bullying you constantly, I'll get bored. I'll be like, oh, I'm bored of bullying them. I want to do something else. That's all I want to talk about. So hope you like this video. Um, hope it really hope it helps. If it helps just one person, that's all that matters to me. Okay, bye guys. I guess I'll see you in my next video. Whenever that is. I'll leave you with my favourite phrase that I've animated.